What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Truth Life Podcast. I'm your host, Tyron Johnson, and today we're on episode 89. We're talking about a subject that's very familiar with myself, very familiar with my followers, and everyone that pretty much knows me, and it's scoring. Scoring the basketball. We're talking about basketball today, so if you're not into basketball, this might not be the episode for you. But if you're a basketball head, you want to learn, if you want to teach something to your kid, then this is the episode for you. All right, we're talking about how to average 20 points per game and eight rebounds. Now, I already done a video about this. I'm not sure if it's a vlog. I'm not sure if it's a YouTube video, but I did a video about averaging 16, and eight, 16 points per game and eight rebounds. Anyone that's averaging about 16 points and eight rebounds, Per game, you're going to get a good job. You're going to get opportunities as a basketball player because those numbers mean that you're very effective on the court. And it's a way to get these numbers without having to do too much. You just need to understand the formula. Once you understand the formula, it makes it a little bit easier. Still very difficult to do, but it makes it a little bit easier. You get to play a game within a game. And I've learned in my 10 years, 11 years as being a pro was that you got to learn how to play games within the game. All right. So this video is about how to average 20 points and eight rebounds. This last year, I added something to my formula. I added a new little twist that showed me how I can average more points. Crazy thing is I'm not even averaging that much points. And I think I'm averaging like 15 points. I'm struggling shooting the basketball right now. So it's been tough for me coming back after three months out, but I'm getting there. Excuse me. I had to um, belch, but I'm getting there. Um, Everybody want to score more points. That's just the guy that scores a lot of points is the guy that's the most popular. The fans love him. Everybody want to Sign them. I always say, man, you don't meet too many scores that's not successful. So scoring is a big part of the game. You know, scoring is a big leveraging point for your agent. Scoring is, you man, score the basketball, man. <laughs> so you got to have a mentality to score. What I mean by the mentality to score, I mean whenever you're on the court, your mentality has to be, I'm about to put this ball in a bucket. If your mentality is you're about to be passive and you're about to wait for the coach to do it for you or a teammate to set you up or the right moment or you're going to play hard the first half and not so hard the second half or you're going to take quarters off, it's not going to work, bro. When you're on the court and you want to be a lethal scorer, you have to be aggressive at all times on the court because you don't know how that game is going to go. You don't know if the other team is going to start implementing the scouting report and start doubling you, denying you the ball, start guarding you from the other side of the court. It can get tough because ain't no team just going to let you come in and start averaging 20 points a game. When you average 20 points per game, you're going to be highlighted. If you look at my film and you see when I step on the court, there's someone on me and there's someone behind the person that's on me at all times. If I get the ball in the post, I'm normally attracting two to three defenders. That's because on the scouting report, they're saying, this guy's lethal. Let's make sure we stop him and get somebody else to beat us. So you got to have the mentality of scoring. You got to move off the ball. You got to run the floor and you got to demand the ball. You know, a lot of people think that scoring is just isolating, nice, fancy moves and everything else. Now, you got to look at how the best scorers move without the ball. You got to look at how these guys get easy points and transitions. You got to look at how these guys get to the free throw line. You got to look at how these guys are demanding the basketball. They're posting up hard with high hands. They're always chasing the ball. They're moving with the ball. They're following the play. They're trying to find little gaps in the defense to get an easy score. And then whenever the game gets to flowing, it's the end of the game. People normally, teams normally go to their go-to guy. And that's when you get to show off your individual talent. That's all point maximizers, right? So, How can we make this task easier of averaging 20 points per game without having to be selfish, without having to be a loose cannon, without having to mess up the flow of the offense? It's easy. You break it down by quarters. You want to win quarters. Once again, you're playing the game within the game. So it's four quarters in the basketball game, 10 minutes per quarter. 
That's in Europe. I'm not sure. I think it's 12 minutes in the NBA. But let's just use Europe because Europe and college is kind of the same. College is 20 minute halves. Europe, Europe is two 10 minute quarters, which equals a 20 minute half. So let's break it down by quarters. You have to get four points per quarter and two rebounds per quarter. If you're working hard, if you're really in the gym weekly, if your daily habits, you're in the gym putting in work, you should be able to get four points and two rebounds. Now, here's the thing about this. It's not just about scoring. You also get to see how hard you're playing, if you're playing hard or if you're not playing hard, by winning the quarters. If you can't get four points and two rebounds, that means you're probably not playing hard enough. That means you're not living to your ability. That means you're letting yourself down. If you get four points and two rebounds per quarter, by the end of the game, you'll have 16 points and eight rebounds. So already we are 16 and eight. <laughs> already we're at 16 and eight. But here's the, here's the kicker. You can take that 16 and take it to 20 by adding two free throws a half. So all you got to do is get to the free throw line one time, knock down two free throws. So you go from eight, eight, eight points a half to 10 points a half. So in the first half, if you shoot two free throws, you finish the half with 10 points. Second half, you finish with two free throws, you finish the half with 10 points. Granted that you scored your four points per quarter. That's how you get 20 points. It's really that simple. You get in the game, you score four points a quarter. That could be a fast break layup. That can be a jump shot. That could be a wide open shot. That can be free throws. And what happens is you get hot, your team seeing that you put the ball in the hole, and next thing you know, you just maximize it. And this is how you get the 30, 40 points by you maximizing each quarter. You don't just stop when you get to four points. You try to get six, eight, ten, because you want to give yourself some leeway because you might have a great first quarter, but you might not have a great second quarter. So if you got 10 points in the first quarter, that second quarter, you might have two points. Well, you got 12 points. You know, your goal was eight. So you already got 12 points. So you're four points away from your goal. I'm sorry, we're averaging 20 in this in this podcast. So you're eight points away from your goal if you already got 12 points. So all you got to do is score two more buckets in each quarter and don't even worry about the free throw. But imagine if you score two more buckets in each quarter and you still get the two free throws, well, now you got 22 points. Imagine you get hot, hit a three, 25 points. It keeps on going, man. It keeps on going. It get very interesting and very, very um, thoughtful whenever you're playing a game like this because what happens is it makes you unselfish. It makes you not worry about your numbers because you know that, okay, I can settle for 20 and 8. <laughs> you know, if you don't get 28, you probably get 18, 17 points. That's still not a bad game. So it makes you play the game within the game and it makes you play within a team. Whenever you're out here just hunting points, whenever you're out here just doing your own thing, you can get selfish. You can, you can, you can start taking things personal. You can start having an agenda. And once you have an agenda in the game of basketball, it may work, but it doesn't work for the team in the long term. Right? So, so it's really that simple. Whenever I tell you that you can average 20 and 10, it's no secret that I'm giving you. It's no nothing, it's not rocket science. It's just breaking down simple math, playing hard, playing aggressive. And being demanding on the court. So putting up these type of stats, that's going to get you paid. That's one thing for sure. If you're averaging 20 and 8, man, putting up these type of stats, that's going to get you paid. Everyone loves good numbers. It gives you, it gives your agent leverage for negotiations. You know, it's going to be many teams trying to tell you that it ain't about the contract. It ain't about the stats and all of that. That sounds good, bro. But whenever that contract is time to resign that contract and they're lowballing you or they're not offering you a contract, they're going to bring up your stats. So if you can win and put up these type of stats, that's how you get on the big stage, bro. You get on the big stage, bro. You got to maximize every quarter. And whenever you, by maximizing every quarter, you're sure 
to leave with at least 17 to 18 points, 16 to 20 points. If you hit your marks, you're going to average 20 points. Anybody averaging 20 points is going to be solid. You're going to have a solid career, and it doesn't take much to do. You can go to your go-to move two times a game. You can get uh, two fast breaks. That's eight points. You can get four free throws. That's 12 points. You can get two buckets within the, the offense. That's 14, 16 points. And then you got an ISO move or two. That's 18, 20 points. Just that simple, man. Short, simple, quick, sweet podcast. This week I wanted to really give you guys some game. This is something that I give to my guys on my coaching calls when I mentor uh, players. They hit me up, you know, go on my website. You can get this hour coaching call where you just hit me up. We talk on the phone for an hour and try to fix whatever you're trying to fix not just basketball, but whatever in life. So, yeah, man, go to tyronjohnson.com. Check out everything on the site whenever you have time. On that site, they got online training. They have, like I said, you can get mentored by me. You can buy some merch. It's everything on the site. Good. Buy the ebook. The Make and Pay ebook is a great ebook for guys and parents that's trying to get their kids to, to eliminate self doubt and go after this after their dreams so that's all i got for you guys this week please like and subscribe to the channel if you're listening to this on apple Podcasts, please please leave a review please give us a rating and and spread the word share this with your friends on instagram twitter and everything else man besides that i'll see you guys next week remember every day make them pay so that one day you can live a truth life Ayo, that's Tyron on the beat.